Hi everybody, good morning. So today we're gonna to do a little bit of a leg workout. A uh, couple of things that you'll need to know about. First of all, all we're gonna need again, who I like my towels, is two small towels. Um, it's gonna to help us with the movement that we're gonna be doing. It's one of the best hamstring workouts I've ever performed in an in-house or traveling workout scene. They also make these uh, gliding discs that work really well. If you don't have any gliding discs, then of course, Towels work just as good. A couple of key things, just make sure that your floor is clean and free of debris so that way when you're rubbing across the floor, it doesn't scratch your floors up. Um, they do make gliding discs for carpet as well. So I will provide a link to Power Systems again um, where you can order the gliders if you want. There are two types, one for hard floor. These are more of a cloth one. And then there's some plastic ones that are made for carpet. So you can choose which one you want to use. But until then, I'm going to use towels today. So a couple of safety items that I'd like to talk about is just make sure that when we're, when we're laying back and we're getting into the bridge, we want to make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on the neck. So I want you to focus on pulling those shoulders back and pushing them into the floor so that way it pulls the pressure off that neck. You're also going to place your hands or palms on the floor. And then at some point, if you feel like your lower back needs support, you can take your hands and kind of stack your fist on top of each other just under that lower back area to keep it from dropping all the way to the floor. So I'll start off with some um, building blocks. We'll start off kind of slow with it just to get warmed up and then we'll take it, uh, we'll elevate the difficulty a little bit as we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna need a mat. You're gonna lay on your mat. You're gonna come down to the edge of the mat. You're gonna place one of the towels under each one of your heels and you're just gonna lay back. All right, so again, shoulders pressed into the floor, palms into the floor. We're gonna start a little warm up here and all we're gonna do is just extend one leg, pull it in and switch and alternate legs as you go. The key here is to make sure that you're breathing through it and you're pushing that heel into the floor as you're pulling it back towards yourself and as you're pushing it out. So we're engaging those hamstrings, we're just warming up that muscle here Nice, slow, warm it up because you don't want to have any injuries. Another safety thought here is to make sure that when we extend that leg out, we're not popping the knee and we keep it slightly bent. All right, so this should be getting our little hamstrings warmed up a little bit. You may already feel a little bit of the work happening, which is what we want to do. It's how we warm it up and just start engaging it. Now let's do both legs at the same time. Don't go all the way out though. Keep the knees bent, pull back in. Dig those heels into the floor. Dig the heels in as you're pulling in. Now you should be feeling it a little bit more because now we have both legs coming out and coming in and it's, it's adding more resistance and more weight to the work. Good job. Let's try two more. One more. Now pull those knees in, let the heels or the toes drop to the floor and shake it out. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna perform a bridge. So make sure the toes are hanging off of the towel. So that way when you plant your toes on the floor, you don't slide out. Same thing with the discs. If you have the disc, you wanna make sure that half of the foot is on, half of the foot is on the floor when you plant, so that way you don't slip. All right. Pull those shoulder blades towards each other in the back, push the shoulders down, press the hips up. Abdominals are pulled in super tight, and we're gonna do one leg at a time. Here we go. So same leg, we're not alternating. Extend and curl, curl. Make sure that opposite foot is touching the floor so that way you're not sliding out. Keep those hips pulled up. You're gonna feel like you wanna drop down here. All right, pull in, drop the toes, readjust yourself. Keep the pressure off the neck, opposite leg, here we go. Press that heel into the floor. You should feel that really digging into that hamstring when you're pulling back in. Again, make sure you're not extending that leg and popping that joint out, keep that knee soft.
One more. Plant both feet down, lower the hips, and pull those knees to the chest. And just hug them in for a second. Knees down. Feet on the top again. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to try to do both legs at the same time. A couple of key safety items here. Shoulder blades pulled towards each other. You can, again, you know, stack your wrists so that when you're not dropping your hips too much. And if it's too much resistance or you're not quite strong enough to do it, just stick with one leg. All you're going to do here is you're going to go out with both legs and pull back in. Oh my gosh, are you feeling that? Woo! Let's try to do two more. Last one, release it, lower it to the floor. Extend those legs out and just shake it out a little bit. This is one of the most effective hamstring workouts I've ever performed. Let's go back to doing single legs. Pull back in, shoulders kind of down, palms into the floor, adjust yourself, belly buttons pulled in, hips are high. Let's go with the right leg first, out, Curl. Really dig that heel in. The more you dig it in, the more resistance you create. One more. Get yourself adjusted. Other leg, left leg. Curl. Oh my gosh. My hamstrings are burning. This is great. Now as you start to strengthen and get a little stronger, you can increase the sets. You can increase the number that you're doing. Give me one more. All right, adjust yourself. I'm gonna do one more set with both legs. Again, if you're feeling pain in your lower back, don't go with both legs. Just use single legs. Extend out and pull in. It's getting harder and harder. Try to keep the hips up as much as we can here. Let's try one more. Ready? Out and in. Lower down, extend the legs, and just shake it out. All right, so that is our hamstring workout. Again, as you start to get stronger, make sure that you're adding a little bit more repetition. Be safe. If you feel pain anywhere, stop doing what you're doing. Have a great day.